What you got I'm, here? I have a vintage guitar. It was custom made for my mother. OK. Peggy Heems, who is in our gang comedies. Really? Cool. Well, yeah, it was our gang for years until it went on television, then it was the Little Rascals. Correct. And this was your mom's guitar? Yes. So one of a kind Gibson. You sure this ain't a Peggy? <laughs> <laughs> when was she on the Little Rascals, our, our gang? They were just forming it up in 1925. She won a contest with her trip to Hollywood to go and try out for our gang. So she got in with the Our Gang bunch while they were still doing silent movies. This was one of her Our Gang movies, Seeing the World. She's right here. OK. Those are some pretty cool pictures. Our Gang was one of the longest running film series in history. It appealed to people of all ages, even though it featured kids. Funny enough, to get the kids to remember their lines, the director used a trick. He would explain the scenes as carefully as he could, and then he would film the kids as they play acted their lines. So do you have any pictures with her with the guitar? Uh, yes. All right, there we go, here's, right there. Here's where she starts playing the guitar. When she got too old to be in our gang, she started doing stage acts, singing, dancing. She wanted a guitar to do her act. She went to Gibson. It's probably one of the first SJs, super jumbos, that Gibson made. Really? OK. The guitar is bigger than she is. So you know what year she bought the guitar? We have had people look at this and say that it's a 1938. I mean, literally, Gibson guitars, even from the beginning when the company was called Gibson Mandolins, they used the best woods, the best construction. You don't see a lot of pre-war Gibsons anymore. You just don't. Most of the ones bought were bought by professional musicians, and they beat them to death. Yeah, when kids started arriving, it stayed in the case pretty much. I mean, it looks in absolutely great shape. So what do you want to do with it? Uh, I'm looking for a value of 75000 OK. A pre-war Gibson is a rare find. I mean, I, I've paid as high as $90,000 for a Gibson in here. And if this is a real 1938 Gibson Super Jumbo, it could be worth a ton. Do you mind if I call somebody up and take a look at it? Uh, that'd be very good. I am going to go give someone a jingle. I'll be back. We have a really early Gibson, potentially a 1938. Wow, that's an early, early, early one. Well, if it's a 38, it's a super jumbo. It's the first year that they made these. And it came to be one of Gibson's most famous guitars. Everybody has played and recorded with uh, super jumbo, Neil Young, La Who. So to have a first year production, that's a big deal. The 38 Super Jumbo is one of the most iconic sounding guitars there are. It was loud. It had a really nice, mellow, low end to it. They even make a reissue of the 38 the first year because it's such a significant guitar. Yeah, this is 1938 for sure. It's got a D for the letter, and that was only used in 1938. So. All right. It's a Super Jumbo. That's super cool. <laughs> <laughs> the custom work on it, that makes it really cool. Who was she? Peggy Eames, my mother, started out in the R Gang silence. And from there, she went into vaudeville when she outgrew R Gang. That is awesome. R Gang was great, but she's not super well known. Do you guys have any other concerns with the guitar? Or? Uh, no, I think he covered everything except that one big one. What's it worth? This is probably a $40,000 guitar. I'll give you $45,000 for the guitar. Well. My intention was that the money would be used as a down payment on like a getaway cottage, call it Peggy's Cabin. My asking price, 75, is really where I still want to stay on it. There's very few people in the world who have enough money to spend a stock 1938 guitar. You bump that up to the few guys who buy the custom ones, it could take me years to sell something like this. That's what I can do. I mean, I will go $45,000. Uh, if you were the end collector, is it of interest to you? Uh, that's just it. I'm not the end collector. 65 would probably <sighs> move me on it. I'll go 47. I assume all the risk after that, you know what I mean? I, I think I'll haul it around a little bit longer. OK. 
If you change your mind, I'm here. OK, I appreciate that. There's a lot more involved here than money. The family heirloom part of it is real strong. Maybe during a family gathering once a year, Peggy's cabin, and it'd be like a memorial.